Hey everyone, before I get into this video, I want to remind you to enter our Animal Crossing New Horizons giveaway. You can do that by commenting down below, leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon. You can do this for every single video we post in the month of March all the way through March 18th, and the winner will be announced on March 19th. It will be a digital code, it will be the North American version, which isn't a problem since Switch is region free. I got two stories to talk to you about today. One we're going to spend most of this video on, and that's talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons, because, duh, that game comes out this week. Pretty big deal. Uh, the other thing is that I do want to briefly talk about an indie world showcase which is happening tomorrow as announced by nintendo through all their social media platforms it's happening tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific so for me 8 a.m central standard time you can do the conversions to your local time zones from there you know we will be live streaming that i'm, I'm planning to do a live stream about 30 minutes start at 30 minutes ahead of time the actual indie showcase only lasts for about 20 minutes and then we'll do you know maybe a half hour or 40 minutes or so after that uh just talking about the, what what happened and all that jazz and that'll kind of be our general reaction video for that showcase but i'm pretty excited because this is some positive news you know in in the world we're in right now with the pandemic going on and everything it's great to have some positive gaming news to kick off our week with, from nintendo obviously uh this might you know, lend credence to the Venture Beat report that we will be getting a Nintendo Direct next week because they said we would be getting the showcase this week. Uh, although Sabby also said we would be getting the showcase in the month of March, so maybe they just guessed and got it right. I don't know, uh, but hey, this does also maybe lend a little credence to hype for next week for a Nintendo Direct. And this is already on top of the fact that, you know, the Xbox Series X basically got fully unveiled today, uh, which is pretty crazy. We got all the specs. We got to see it completely torn down. We got to see different games running on it from the xbox one obviously we're not seeing xbox series x specific games because those will be shown during e3 or you know xbox's digital event they're now doing instead of e3 uh so i don't know it's pretty crazy though uh to see all that so yeah let's get into the other part of this video uh maybe the more important part for you guys and that's the animal crossing reviews so animal crossing has a 91 on metacritic and this matters because the highest rated animal crossing game of all time on metacritic is Animal Crossing New Leaf at an 88. So this is officially or unofficially or however you view game reviews and view Metacritic, the highest rated Animal Crossing game of all time. It is widely considered a masterpiece. In fact, the lowest rating of this game currently out of the 55 reviews counted is an 80. So yeah, and that's being really, really critical of it and still an 80. That is crazy how highly reviewed this game is becoming. It has 100 by Forbes, which you know says, know that if you're overwhelmed with the world, stuck outside, adrift in a life that you know will look totally different next week, get Animal Crossing. Telegraph saying, with a game this broad and lengthy, there's more to discuss than I can fit in one review, but the size it to say, this is a game that Nintendo have clearly worked incredibly hard to get right. It shines at every moment from the wind rustling through the trees to the sunset glinting off the water to the jaunty tunes in the start of the day fading into more relaxing melodies in the evening at dozens of much needed quality of life features hello player customization autosave couch co-op and eight player online and it all adds up to the perfect do-it-yourself recipe for the most chilled out relaxing and engaging life simulator ever vg20 you know vg247 saying hey New Horizons is everything I hoped it would be, and yet it's another stellar release that showcases a confident Nintendo at its best. Nintendo Insider says, above all else, Animal Crossing New Horizons is an unbeatable feel-good experience and an essential purchase for anyone who owns a Nintendo Switch. Trusted Reviews comes out and says, New Horizons is the best game I have played this year. You know, you have VGC coming out saying, Nintendo's controlling life sim is a tranquil haven at a time the world needs it most and i think that's what is so perfect about animal crossing new horizons it is almost a transcendent event in gaming not just because the game is amazing and it's been eight years since we've gotten a new a true brand new animal Crossing. not not amiibo festival or happy home designer or pocket camp i mean a true blue animal crossing game it's been eight years but it's coming at a time when the world needs it the most to act like our lives aren't impacted by this pandemic is a bit of a misnomer. Even if you don't have COVID-19, you don't have the coronavirus, you don't have any family members affected by it, and your life is mostly normal, grocery stores are being shut down. You know, 
schools are being shut down. Public transportation being shut down. All the sporting events are essentially canceled at this point, besides NFL free agency, which doesn't involve players having to actually be in a room together. So, like, we are at this point that so much of our life is on pause. So much of our entertainment's on pause. There are movies that are being postponed. You know, new Fast and the Furious movies postponed a year. So are a bunch of other movies. Uh, even new movies, you know, that have come out, like Onward, are being massively impacted by this because not as many people are going out to movie theaters right now. This is crazy. We are in a world where we have never, at least in my life, time been impacted this worldwide by an, a pandemic and yet here we are with maybe i don't want to say the most deadly pandemic in my life but definitely the one that's affecting everyone uh in one way or another and this game's coming out at a perfect time when we're going to be holed up at home or when we're supposed to be you know what are they calling it now social distancing or whatever we want to refer to it as whatever hot button term is being used these days i think that this is the perfect game to come out at the perfect time uh for really the ideal audience which is the most popular platform in the world right now and to have this game come out right now is just it's perfect we get to simulate a life that isn't so crazy as the one we're currently existing in and it's just a beautiful beautiful thing a beautiful escape from reality, uh, and I, I for one, I just can't wait. And it's not even just this game, you know. Don't, let's not forget, we're getting Doom Eternal. You want to go completely opposite side of the spectrum? Doom Eternal is coming this week, and that's going to be another escape for some people into um, a, a much more fantasy-like experience where you're you're killing demons and it's like the end of the world and all that stuff. Like that's that, that's just another polar opposite experience out there for those that are looking for. Heck, you know, Xbox dropping the news this week, and we're waiting on Sony to kind of open Pandora's box here. We know Ghost of Tsushima is coming this summer. Uh, uh, you know, from the Sony side of things, obviously there might be a Nintendo Direct next week, Indie World Showcase. There, there's a lot of positivity going on in the gaming space, and I really, really hope that this kind of starts to permeate into other entertainment avenues, and we start to get more positivity from them as well. Because it's easy to panic, it's easy to just look at how dreary the world is right now. But these are the kind of things that lift us up and give us something to look forward to, let alone something to do in the moment. And as of this Friday, we'll all be able to enjoy Animal Crossing: New Horizons together. In fact, be sure sure to tune in to my live stream of Animal Crossing New Horizons this Friday. I don't have a time for it yet because some of it's going to depend on when I'm able to play the game, if it's available to play at midnight, or if I have to wait till the next day, all that jazz. But I do plan to stream at some point on the 20th Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I will be giving away a second copy of the game at some point in that live stream. I don't know if I'm going to do it at the end of the stream, in the middle of the stream. I'm not really sure when it's going to happen. Probably at the end if I had to guess, but um, I can't wait to do that giveaway. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome. Um, obviously, I have the other giveaway where you, you enter down in the comments. That's, that's really good, too. I'm trying to give back at a time when I think um, there's just a world in trouble, a world in pain, a world in fear. Um, and it feels good to give back to part of that world, to give back to our fan base uh, here at Nintendo Prime. And just to have something to, to together to to look at and be like, this is a good thing. Animal Crossing New Horizons, even if you're not an Animal Crossing fan, it's a good thing. Doom Eternal is a good thing this week. The Xbox News dropping today is a good thing. Indie Showcase tomorrow, good thing. Let's keep these positive vibes going for the rest of this week. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and enjoying this video. Uh, our first video in a long time in 4K true 4k uh pretty crazy hopefully i get the color correction right because it's a little i look a little pastier than i do in real life on the on the base recording but uh that's the magic of editing all right folks i'll catch you guys in the next video